like yesterday, you should have already read a section that I've posted under our site. After we've read, then you should be tuning in so that I can go over those notes. Today we are continuing our natural resources. However, we're getting a little more specific. We're talking about natural resources found in Florida. Since we live in Florida, it's important to know what we have access to. So again, we have our renewable and non-renewable. I'm gonna have you pause me just for a second and I'd like you to remember in your brain what each of those mean. If you need to look back at your notes, go ahead. All right, so renewable resources, re means we can get them again. So these are things that every day or every year, every month, just as long as it happens within a lifetime, we can get again. Non-renewable, that non means that we don't get them again within a lifetime. So those are much, much harder to create. So some examples again in Florida, today we're focused on natural resources in Florida. Florida renewable resources are the sun, the wind, water, and also fisheries. So this is where um, you can have a lot of fish and we all obviously can get fish over and over and over again. Some non-renewable resources would be limestone. I'm not sure if you can see, but I've italicized the word stone. I always like to give you tricks because it's gonna be really important for you to remember which things we can find in Florida. I think you can kind of figure those out on your own, but these are going to be a little more difficult. So the word limestone has the word stone in it. And I want you to know that it's sedimentary rock used for buildings. So I've also italicized the word rock and buildings because stone and rock, those are synonyms for each other, right? So limestone is a rock that we use for buildings. We want our buildings to be secure. If you look uh, at like our building here, it kind of is like a stone, it's really cement, but, but think about we use stones to build things. So limestone is rock for buildings. So you need to know that limestone is rock to create buildings. And there's a picture here. We also have silicon. I'm not sure if you've heard of Silicon Valley, but what that is, is it is a mineral. Ooh, we already learned about rocks and minerals. So you should remember that that I in mineral means one. So this is made up of only one mineral. It's not a rock. And here it is, here's a picture here. And this is used to make microchips. So in this day and age, that's super important. I think that you're going to always remember this word going forward. And then the word phosphate, we have a lot of phosphate here in Florida. Your trick to remember what phosphate is, is that it starts with a P. So I've bolded that P. And that P is going to remind you that it is for plants. So we use phosphate for plants. And there is a picture shown here. If you have any questions, as always, please post it on the discussion board and we will get back to you.